Starting next year, it will no longer be free to pollute anywhere in Canada. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has been under fire for a so-called carbon tax plan. Some provinces have been defying it, even challenging it in court. So today, Trudeau raised the stakes, hoping to win over the holdouts. And he's doing so with cold, hard cash. We are going to place a price on the pollution that causes climate change from coast to coast to coast. And we're also going to help Canadians adjust to this new reality. Trudeau's carbon tax plan would put a price on carbon emissions for both consumers and carbon producers. But for the four provinces not willing to take part, New Brunswick, Ontario, Manitoba and Saskatchewan, the federal government will take tax revenue and give 90% of it back to citizens in those provinces. So for an average family in Ontario, that would mean an average of $300 a year. New Brunswickers could expect an average of $248 a year, in Manitoba $336 a year, and in Saskatchewan an average of $598 a year. But the official opposition isn't buying it. This plan is wrong for taxpayers, it's wrong for the economy, and it's wrong for the environment. The remaining 10% of revenue will go to businesses, schools, hospitals, and other organizations who cannot pass along their carbon costs along to consumers. Provinces have had two years to prepare for the carbon tax, but the four holdouts are ready to challenge the plan in court. Despite Trudeau claiming Canadians will get more back than they put in, Scheer believes regular Canadians will get the short end of the stick, while big polluters get a free card. Canadians know that a measly $12.50 a month will not cover the true cost of this carbon tax. Life is going to get a lot more expensive for hardworking Canadians and families, and large industrial polluters are getting off scot-free. That scepticism was shared by Ontario Premier Doug Ford, one of the loudest critics of the federal plan. In a statement, he said, The people of Ontario know I will do everything in my power and use every tool at my disposal to fight this punishing, job-killing tax. We will take this fight all the way to the Supreme Court if necessary, but more importantly, we will take this fight to the people. With less than a year to go before the next federal election, carbon tax may very well end up being the big ballot box question Canadians will vote on. In Ottawa, Nigel Newlove, City News.